Hi everyone, my name is Maya. This talk is about accurate detection of out-of-body segments in surgical videos using semi-supervised learning. So let's begin with some introduction. Laparoscopic surgeries are minimally invasive procedures performing the abdomen area with the camera inside the patient's body. Nearly 15 million laparoscopic surgeries are performed worldwide per year. There are huge advances in analysis of videos for assessment of surgeries using computer vision and AI techniques. Theater is developing data science tools for surgeons that will allow more accurate training and safer surgery that will eventually improve outcome for patients. The motivation to our work was first of all for anonymization purposes. Over recent years, we witnessed that the dramatic impact deep learning has had on computer vision is strongly related to the availability of large representative datasets. In contrast to publicly available images and videos that contain millions of samples, surgery videos are limited due to privacy concerns. In this work, we suggest a method that we hope will allow public data sharing that in turn will drive advancement in this field. In addition to that, previous studies show that reducing noise samples enable to train more robust models for other surgical tasks. Out of body segments, when the camera is pulled out of the patient's body, can appear before or after the actual procedure time or during surgery. Some can last only a few seconds and others even a few minutes. This work's goal was to detect these out of body segments and remove them from the video. So this task might seem quite simple for a supervised classification with fully annotated dataset. But out-of-body frames appear sporadically in a video and manually labeling each second of hours of surgical videos is a tedious task. So our method was starting from a noisy dataset and iteratively apply semi-supervised learning to re-annotate the training data. To create the initial dataset, we annotated only the actual start and end point of the procedure which is a much easier task. So all frames before and after these points are considered as out-of-body frames. We resample the training set at each iteration, and we used new 100 videos each time, and did several iterations to optimize the results. The model architecture is ResNet 18, pre-trained on ImageNet, and we use transfer learning and fine-tune the model by training only the last layer on the surgical data. Our dataset contains 640 videos of laparoscopic cholecystectomy from six different medical centers. The validation and test sets are manually annotated with full coverage of out-of-body labeling, while the train set is only partially annotated. After six iterations, the target out-of-body class reaches a near-perfect accuracy of 99.85%. 9 Although our focus is on detecting out-of-body segments, we also want to minimize false positive predictions. Thus, we want to achieve high recall at high precision. For this purpose, one should choose the model achieved after two iterations. As you can see here, this model maximizes both classes accuracy and produces 97% recall at 83.5 precision. We compared our method to a non-deep learning histogram-based method that was presented by Tunanda et al. We followed their method and got much lower results on our dataset. Based on this result, we can assume that a classic image, image processing approach is not accurate enough for our purposes and lack the ability to generalize well across different medical centers. Here are some examples of models predictions. Uh, you can see on the left a very accurate classification, as well as challenging correct classification of unusual blurring frame, frames. And in case of misclassification, mostly there are quite reasonable mistakes due to unusual colors or very blurred frames, as you can see, again, on the bottom uh, uh, picture, where you have uh, some body segments inside the picture and it seems like in body frame. In conclusion, our method demonstrated very accurate classification of out of body frames, yet one of the model's limitation is dealing with edge cases when the classification is not that obvious. With further re research and more data, it is possible to train even more robust and accurate models with the ability to handle unusual frames and hard examples. This was a joint work with this great team, so I would like to thank them as well. For more details, you can check our full paper, and thank you all for listening.